Hi, my name is Terry Wilson and I'm from Wilson Architectural Building Designs and today I'm going to talk to you about one of my frequently asked questions and that is, do I need to employ a structural engineer for my building project? Well hopefully by the end of this video I'll be able to give you a little bit of insight as to whether you do or you don't. So an example, if say you were building a single storey rear extension on your property and you've built the three walls and you've put the roof on, well the chances are you'd want that existing ground floor rear wall totally removed. Well if you did, then you're going to have to fit a large steel to support the first floor to stop the house from dropping. So because you're going to need that large steel, you can't just go to the shop and just buy a bit of steel and go, yes that's fine, that will do. The drawings, which will show the type of house that you've got, and the thickness of the walls will be given to a structural engineer and he will design a steel that will be able to take and carry the weight above well not only the weight above the building but make sure that the building still stays or still has got its stability after you've removed all these walls so the chances are if you're having this single rear extension and you want to remove a large part of a wall then the chances are you will definitely need a structural engineer so the second example would be if you're having a loft conversion. So at the moment, you've got your loft. Uh, up in the loft, there's probably boxes of old photographs and Christmas trees and all the stuff that you want to get out of the way is all sitting around your loft. Well, there's not much weight. So the, jo the ceiling joists or the floor joists in the loft are very thin because they don't need to take a lot of weight. But if you're having a loft conversion, you'll need to upgrade the floors. So at the moment the floors will be about four inches thick, but the new floors to take potentially a bath full of water, wardrobes, beds, furniture, carries a lot of weight. So you need to increase these uh, four inch joists, uh, ceiling joists, to eight inch joists. Because you're upgrading the floor joists, you can't just sit them anywhere, they've got to be sat uh, on steels. So usually the steels run from left to right of the building, on the front and the back, and are in field. N these new eight uh, inch floor joists are, are, are fitting in between the steels. So because you're having a loft conversion, you need to upgrade the floor, and if you're upgrading the floor, you're gonna need steels to support the, support the new floor. And these steels go in either end of the party wall or uh, the, the external side of, of the house, uh, the flank walls, to, to put your new floor. So because you need steels, you can't just, again, go out and buy steels off, off the street or uh, steel merchants. You've got to employ a structural engineer to design the steels to carry the correct amount of weight, but also the, the structural engineer will calculate the width of the house, the height of the house, the thickness of the walls, and where the staircase is going to be, and all these proposals are all designed and calculated uh, so that the steels that you're, that, that you're going to be having to fit are correct. So that's the second example of, uh, of, of why you'd probably need to employ a structural engineer. So basically, if you're removing any internal walls or adding any new structures to your property, then the chances are you do need a structural engineer. Your architect or designer should have advised you this from the start of the project and shown it on your drawings, that then drawings will then be sent off to a structural engineer just for clarification anyway. Thanks very much for watching my videos. My name is Terry Wilson from Wilson Architectural Building Designs. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe below. Or if you need any help or support, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Good luck.